Hey guys, and welcome to day two of my barn vlog. Here's Ami. Yes, so I just got to the barn and grabbed him out of his corral, and I have him tied up in my cross ties. Um, anyhow, I have a jumping lesson this morning. I was not able to convince my mom to come out and take videos of me riding, because she had other things she had to do today. So I don't know if I'll be able to get my trainer to take some videos, but we'll see. Anyhow, Ami, really? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm just going to groom him and get him ready for our lesson. Alright. Okay guys, I'm ready for my lesson. Um, I'll just show you quickly what Ami and I are wearing today. Um, I just have on this bluish green colored Nike V-neck shirt. And I have on my, what are they called? Cavalier Toscana breeches. My regular tall boots. This looks like that. And the pair on straight Ami. All right, so Ami has on his five star tack bridle. That. Yeah, that's like the world's rusty shed. It's abandoned pretty much. Uh, he has his Voltaire design breastplate, my Voltaire saddle, his Ogilvy half pad, and a Fleece Works bamboo saddle pad, a Voltaire girth, his Veritas boots, the open front and ankle, Ami really, <laughs> hold still, and his Veritas heel protector boots. And I just stuck it. Awesome. Okay. So I'm actually walking up to the arena right now. I usually hop on by my shed and ride up, but I need to adjust the fences. So I'm not gonna hop on just to get off again. Um, so basically I'll tell you a little bit what I'm doing today. So right now I only have time to ride Ami. Oh, and I have Rokal gloves, I forgot to say that. Um, and he found hay on the ground. That's not cute. Um, so basically I only have time for Ami right now. And then I have to go run a bunch of errands with my mom because we have to do some things before my brother's girlfriend's baby shower. So yeah, I'll be coming back later tonight, kind of like I did yesterday, to probably turn out Mia and lunge Prince again. So yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Okay, I am so tired. That lesson kicked my butt. Um, I'm just walking on Ami right now, pulling him out. So. Basically for warm up, we worked on the collection to working canner to lengthen canner. We did that at the canner, both directions and trot. And we also did a lot of transitions between gates. So like walk to canner, canner walk, walk trot, trot canner, that kind of thing. And then what else did we do? We did walk fences, which is hard for me because I anticipate a lot. And then we did a course of fences with some rollbacks and angled fences and stuff and he was really good but um, we had just started walk fences when something quite dramatic happened maybe I'll take you up and show you a little bit I don't know if I'd be insensitive though so yeah okay sorry I got interrupted um, what I was saying is 
while I had just started my walk fences, my trainer and I heard a really loud noise and we can see the front road and the driveway gate from the jumping arena and we see a car crashing through the fence. So basically uh, what happened is an old lady went off the road and our property here is set lower than the main road. So she went down a hill and then instead of just going straight through the fence, she drove like through the fence. Like, uh, how do you explain it? Like she didn't parallel. I don't know how to explain it. Like here's the fence. She went straight through the fence. Okay, imagine Ami's head, if you will move it straight, is the fence. Ami, hold still. Hold still, dude. Hold still. Hey, I said hold still. Please. All right, here's the road. Here's the property. Here's the fence. <laughs> really, Ami? Oh, I'm wasting time. Okay, instead of going like this through the fence, she went like that and was like driving in the fence for about 50 feet before she stopped. And I think she's okay. She wasn't, she was um, conscious, but not really responsive. So we think she's in shock. Uh, maybe she had a stroke, heart attack. We don't really know yet, but um, I don't know if you can see. Ah, sorry, I'm like walking with Ami, so it's kind of hard to see. But there's like CHP and the ambulance and all that has already left. But the fence has broken. Oh, Ami. You can kind of see the dead fence out there. It's like all that length, so yeah. Guys, so I was putting on Ami's ice spy boots and the ice pack ripped. So if you ever want to know what's inside of the ice packs for the ice spy boots, it's blue gel. So yeah, I just finished walking him before that. I did a veteran rinse and bath rinse and all that. So he has his ice spy boots on. What's really funny in my show vlog is I said that he was sitting down with his ice five boots on. I think that was really hilarious. I didn't really catch that when I was editing. But yeah, and there's Mia. So yeah, it's a good thing I had an extra pair of these ice packs. Yeah, that sucks. Hey guys, um, I'm sitting in my truck. Uh, this is like the front gate and that's the main road. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what got taken out. So um, you can see there's kind of like white fencing on the ground and there's the other white fencing. Um, the pipe corral fences were put up there as a replacement until it gets fixed. So basically the lady came down like, like, where's my finger? There it is. She came like over there, I have it super zoomed. And she was like driving along the fence this whole way. So yeah, we have a temporary fence now.